Hi, I'm Nicole Miles, and today I'll show you some of the great features available in Supplier Link. We'll begin on the new customizable dashboard available exclusively to Supplier Link users. Select the Supplier Link icon from the main menu and click Import Invoices. Use the Date From and Date To calendar icon to narrow down the date range of the invoices you would like to upload. The Customer drop-down defaults to All Customers. Use the drop-down if you would like to get invoices for a single customer. Use the Invoice Number field if you would like to upload a single invoice. Once you have selected your parameters, click the Get Invoices button. Supplier Link will search for invoices in your QuickBooks accounting system that match your selected parameters. Invoices that meet your search parameters are displayed. Review the Attachments column to ensure you have included attachments in QuickBooks. If you see a zero in the Attachments column, we recommend you add your attachments in QuickBooks and re-import your invoices before proceeding. Validation errors and warnings are displayed at the top of the page. Errors that must be corrected are in red and warnings are in yellow. Read validation errors carefully and make the appropriate changes. In this case, my first three invoices for Training Demo Buyer were imported using a customer code in my configuration, so the customer site and customer department populate automatically. For these invoices, I must select my supplier site. You can click the Copy button to copy the site to the remaining invoices for this customer. Your supplier site may populate automatically if there is only one option. For my last invoice to Marmot Construction, I did not use a customer code in my file. Therefore, I am required to select a customer site and customer department, in addition to the supplier site. Once you have made your selections, click the Validate button to confirm. Additional validation errors or warnings may be displayed. In this case, my first three invoices for Training Demo Buyer validate successfully and have attachments. My QuickBooks invoice and configuration settings included the data required for this customer. Therefore, the invoices are ready to send. Select the checkbox next to the invoices you would like to send and click the Submit to Customer button. My final invoice for Marmot Construction requires additional data that I can manually add in Supplier Link. In this case, my buyer has provided me with a price book that I will select from the dropdown. To review or edit the line items on an invoice, click on the invoice number. If you would like to apply an early pay program to this invoice, type the discount percent in the EP discount percent field and select the early pay program from the search results. Select the EP eligible checkbox next to the line items that are eligible for the early pay discount. If applicable, you can use the copy button to apply the checkbox to all line items. Because my QuickBooks invoice does not include units, it is important to manually enter the units that match the price book so the invoice is compliant. You can also add customer-specific information to your line items. I will add the AFE number provided by my customer. If the value is the same for all line items, you may click the Copy button. Click Validate to confirm your changes. My invoice validates successfully. However, I do not have a scanned copy of the signed field ticket in QuickBooks and my customer requires that I include all supporting documentation with the invoice. I will click the Save and Open Invoice button to save the invoice. Please note, once an invoice is saved in Open Invoice, it cannot be re-imported using Supplier Link. Click Yes, Save and Open Invoice. The invoice is saved in your Unsubmitted Invoices folder and has not been sent to your customer. You may click the Take Me There button to navigate to this saved invoice or you may select the invoice icon in the main menu and click Unsubmitted Invoices to access all saved invoices. Another valuable feature in Supplier Link is the ability to easily reference an approved ticket from OpenTicket during the invoice upload process. When editing the line items on an uploaded invoice, enter the approved ticket number in the Ticket field and select the ticket from the search results. Enter the ticket line number in the ticket line field. Once both fields have been entered, the associated coding from the approved ticket is automatically applied to your line item. 
Finally, we have heard from suppliers who import their invoices using a file that managing attachments can be a challenge. To make this process both faster and easier, we have introduced attachment management. Upload your invoice file to supplier link. Click the Upload Attachments button. Drag and drop your files, or click the Browse button and select the files you would like to upload. Attachment files and their matching invoices are listed. Review the file names and the matching invoices in the Invoice column. If a match is incorrect, click the Delete icon to delete a single file or click Reset to start over. If the matches are correct, click the Upload and Link button. In this case, I am still waiting on signed documentation for some of my uploaded invoices, so I plan to save them an open invoice. I will click Yes, I am sure to continue. If this is a mistake, you may click No, let me review again. Attachments are automatically added to their corresponding invoices in Supplier Link. Eight of my invoices have attachments and two are waiting on signed documentation from the customer. Invoices without attachments can be saved in Open Invoice to be submitted later. You may proceed with the submission process for invoices with attachments. In closing, we've shown you how to upload and send invoices from QuickBooks, reference an approved ticket from OpenTicket, and quickly manage attachments in a few easy steps.